Charlie, Manchester United 2, Fulham 1. We've got the win on the last day of the season. De Gea saves a penalty. Who would have thought that? Um, and Man United finished third. Who would have thought that? Yeah, brilliant. I'm glad to finish third. I just wanted to finish above the Geordies. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's petty, but yeah. yeah, just to go, listen. And we've won the cuff as well against yeah. him, so it was, that was good. But yeah, De Gea saved the penalty. Um, I was convinced he was, it was going to be a goal. But Mitrovic has missed four penalties this season, I think. Maybe, I don't know whether that's the most in Premier League history, but it's quite a lot in one season to miss. So. Yeah. But good, good save from De Gea. Yeah. Um, and yeah, a bit, bit disappointed with the goal we conceded on the corner at the near post. Soft. I think Rashford just kind of was there yeah. for a bit, then wasn't. It was, wasn't even really marking Tete, was it? But I think overall defending set pieces, we have improved this season that's a what, lot. And you know, when that goal went in, that's what I was quite... I went, I went, you know what, we've actually been really good from set pieces defensively. Yeah. We don't score a lot from them, but defensively, we have been really Yeah, good. we have been good. Um, but then again, we react. Um, how many times can we say that at Old Trafford? We always find a way to, to get a result. Mm. Fred's assist, that disguise pass brilliant. is brilliant for Bruno and the chip. I'm, I'm really enjoying Bruno's sort of runs off the ball, those movements sort of in between fullback and centre-back this season. I'm, I'm really happy with that. You know, if we do sign like Harry Kane, for example, if we do sign a striker that can drop and link play, you know, you have got the runs of Bruno and Rashford um, in behind. And I think Ten Hag really, really... Uh, sort of enjoys Bruno's movement. Mason Mount as well, if he comes, we're speaking hypothetically, mm. he's really good at those Not movements good. as well. Yeah. So really happy, really happy to get the win and finish third. How big of a fortress has this place been this year for us? Yeah, massive. I was thinking earlier, obviously we lost to Brighton, drew to Southampton and... Um, Newcastle. Newcastle. Is that it? I think we've... Have we beaten everybody else? Southampton, yeah, draw. Newcastle, draw. Beaten all the top six here. Brighton, lost. Other than that, Leeds. Another draw against Leeds, that Leeds. is it. Yeah, which I, I was think... stupid when they had like three managers at once. Yeah, no, that <laughs> three, was They had three caretaker, they went 2-0 up. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, but yeah, but everyone else, so yeah. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. I think that's a really, really sort of big improvement. I think away from home, we've still got a long, long way to go. But yes. making here our fortress is absolutely massive. I think it's the first time we've beaten all the top six since Louis van Gaal's uh, time here, which is which is massive. Um, and I think it's just, it's just a testament to Ten Hag and the mentality as much as much of it. Um, it's about the quality, it's also about the mentality, never say die attitude. Um, and yeah, finish third. Obviously, we take on City, um, obviously, we get the win. City lose today. Um, I'm surprised that they rotated so much for next week's game. They, they had, did they, did they change even, their whole De Bruyne didn't feature, I don't think. Mm. Um, Harlem didn't even feature. They had a real makeshift team, they lost 1 0. Um, surprised with that. I think. I don't, they're taking it seriously, really. Or you think it's quite a long time for them to not get any well, yeah, rhythm? It's quite, it is quite a long time. And if you think like the last few games have been pointless for City, so there's, they've had a few games now where to get a bit of, it's to get not a really bit of meant anything and, and they've rotated a lot. And, you know, it could come to be a positive thing. They'll all be fresh, but also it can be a negative thing. And I'm glad Ten Hag today, I was speaking with Cam on the train up. Um, I was saying to Cam, like, I want to see Ten Hag play quite a strong team today I want to keep the momentum going and he did he, he did he, and well he made six changes but some of the main players who I, I was saying before the game I want to see him cotton wool but he was never going to not play Rashford not play Casemiro not play Bruno um, obviously Varane is the one that can't yeah, yeah, that, but you know and Shaw because sure, he came off already in the last game but yeah. he still gave a lot of minutes like you said to Bruno and actually it proves why because yeah. we weren't we were comfortable for large parts in, in a bit but to concede and then could have been two down, you know, it was it was tough at times. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad he went strong. Yeah. I think that's what we needed to do. Um, keep the momentum going. Um, it wasn't vintage. I think we we're gonna have to play a lot lot better. I think Chelsea and today um, we're giving away too many transitions. I think again against Man City, I think we will um, be quite compact anyway. Naturally, I think City will dominate the ball. Yeah. Um, but I, I think oh, Bruno will come. I think Bruno will start on the right in that game if Anthony's injured. I think mm. it will be Casemiro, Fred, and Eriksson in midfield again. Oh, you think he'll go with Eriksson as well? I think he will. Yeah, I think he will. Mm. Um, I think we will go down that route. But we'll, we'll see what happens. I think the interesting thing is, is how City have changed. They're a lot different team than what they came, what they sort of put out here against yeah, us. In uh, they've, they've adapted a lot. So. I hope Ten Hag's got something up his sleeve. I'm sure he has. Um, I hope we score the first goal next week. That's going to be massive, yeah, because coming, you don't want to be defeatist, but if we do go a goal down against them, you're like, you, you, you don't fancy it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't, is the, the safest way to say it, but scoring first and having something to defend and having something to hold on to definitely can be the way. Exactly. It's going to be interesting to see what he does. Uh, I think there's two positions up for grabs. I think everything else is set. I think the right winger position. I said, yeah. I think Bruno might play. I don't think Sancho is going to start mm. in this type of the game. The intensity needed for yeah, this. Yeah, I don't think it. And then yeah. you've got the left back and left centre back situation. Do you want Shaw and Varane up against Haaland again? What would you do? I would um, probably leave Lindelof in there, but I have got a couple of concerns just because 
of how well Lindelof and Varane have done, but I've got concerns about Lindelof and Varane. Is there enough aggression up against Haaland? Mm. And then if, if you do put short left centre back, which would be brilliant, you've then got the issue of left back. You probably, I don't know how you feel, but Dallo or Malassia in that position, you probably would favour Dallo because Malassia is still very raw, but, raw. but, but even aggressive. Dallo hasn't played a lot of exactly. games. So. But the aggression of, I know it's lack of experience and, and quality on the ball that, that he doesn't yeah. have in Malassia, but the aggression of him to engage and be at it, could. Yeah. You know, he did it at home. But this is a different ball this game. Is a different this game. is a different game. I don't think he'll game. throw him into this no, game. So I think I it will be Lindelof and Varane. Yeah. Uh, but it's 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 a nice thing that we've even got these conversations. Yeah. Like he's we, got some choice yeah. and he, he can sort of um, change things. And this is a big testament to Ten Hag again. Um, before this season, um, Bruno hadn't played a lot from the right. Yeah. We've now got that option. Shaw hadn't played in a four at left centre-back. So we've got that option. So Ten Hag is opening our eyes all the time to, to new ideas and, mm. and uh, sort of positional changes, which is brilliant. Gives us more flexibility. Who was your player of the season to finish off and why? Uh, I'll give it to Martinez. I think he would be even more of a solid... I think people would vote for him even more if he wouldn't have been injured because yeah. he would have played the last it's couple like of months. It's like a recency bias where Casemiro seems to have edged yeah. it a bit now because he's been doing some amazing yeah. things in the last but couple of months. But actually, overall... I think Martinez, Shaw, Casemiro, Rashford, are the, the, the front four. Uh, Bruno, sorry, as well. Yeah. But they're, the, they're the five that probably deserve big, big shouts. Yeah, so I'd and, say Martinez. And Ten Hag, how are you rating him for what he's had to contend with this year versus where we are now? Uh, if we lose... If we don't win the final, um, I'd give him a 7 out of 10. Yeah. Um, if we win the final, I give him a nine. So, yeah. I know there's a quite a two points difference in that. But, yeah, but two domestic, two trophies in your first season is near enough. For t and who it's against in the final. If we wouldn't have taken big smashings away from home, it probably yeah. would have been a ten. Yeah. Uh, yeah if yeah. we win the final, They're but inexcusable. Then yeah. yeah. Cheers, man. Big up, man. Last one.